the RAF discriminated against white men. Just think about that. What would all the white pilots who fought in the Battle of Britain make of that? How far have we sunk? Diversity quotas are dangerous and racist. Despite what the woke brigade might tell you, it is possible to racially discriminate against white men. It's one thing to have every single major corporation wheeling out the rainbow flag, the England national football team taking the knee, jobs at certain broadcasters being advertised solely for ethnic minorities. But when it comes to the defence of the realm, that's surely a bridge too far. White men were unlawfully discriminated against because there was an overly ambitious diversity quota. Who gives a toss what colour or gender the fighter pilot shooting at the enemy is? Seriously. I think, of all the examples of positive discrimination backfiring, this is probably the most potent. Senior RAF officials were seemingly willing to compromise national security so they could, at some point, pose next to a recruitment photograph that looked like a pin-up of the United Nations meets loose women. They set an unachievable quota for diversity. They were told it would be illegal to discriminate in this way. And they did it anyway. They missed their quota. And instead of just missing the quota, they just recruited fewer people, reportedly. Applicants were described as useless and white. 31 men have already been identified as having missed out on a potential £5,000 golden handshake to start cyber roles in the RAF. A number of selection boards to place new recruits on courses, which is a, a crucial part of maintaining the fighting strength of the RAF. Well, they were also cancelled if they did not include women or ethnic minorities, according to reveal messages. But it gets worse. A colonel says that he was forced to quit because he said that women can't be men and men can't be women. Dr Kelvin Wright, 54, had been a reservist commanding officer with 14 years unblemished service, including two tours in Afghanistan. A formal army investigation was opened in May that could have led to him being formally dismissed or censored under the major administrative action process. This hero reportedly led a team of 60 troops in 306 Hospital Support Regiment, alongside working as an NHS intensive care consultant. And uh, this month, he felt forced to retire six years earlier than planned, which, of course, naturally slashed his army pension. This whole thing is complete lunacy. If there is one area of our society that, that wokery, diversity and inclusion should just stay the heck away from, it's the military. They should be grateful, very grateful, for anybody who wants to volunteer to fight and die for this great nation. Not turning them away because they're white and don't think that someone with a penis can be a woman.